right, good morning. Um, this morning we are actually just kind of fixing the rest of these uh, uh, little raised beds that we built for the $35 uh, in 30 minutes. So if you hadn't seen that video, please go back and watch it. Uh, it can, uh, it's in our little uh, playlist. So if you want to look at it, it tells you about these, uh, these raised beds. But, but what we're doing today is actually filling them up. Uh, we are going to follow a lot of other homesteaders, especially uh, people like Justin Rose with the, with the uh, deep bedding system. Uh, in the raised bed. So we built these basically two foot deep. What we're going to do is use some old wood that we've had uh, from actually last year that we were not able to break down from firewood. Uh, so we're going to utilize it in here. Help, it'll help the soil. Uh, it's actually underneath the, the wood and when we were picking it up it's just great compost. So we were actually able to scrape some of that up too. And then we're going to top this off with true compost from our compost pile. Uh, put a little hay bedding in there and then ultimately be able to plant with topsoil. So uh, I want to show you these beds. As you notice that we've not smoothed out the logs yet, but there's some logs in there. And you see it's just got a lot of good deep soil uh, mixed in with it. Uh, so we're going to kind of scatter them out, make them even, and then go with an uh, uh, actual bedding system that actually makes it layered, uh, as you see. So it's got a good bit of leaves, good bit of topsoil in it, but uh, we're going to go and start that. After that, uh, if you look at my tractor here, uh, that's from our true compost It's still breaking down but just great quality soil just black soil so that's that's really good we're excited about it uh, so we're gonna get started uh, started on that today uh, and bring you all along with us really what these beds are going to be used for if you notice our old greenhouse which is now doubled as a hayloft our new greenhouse is over there that we use but we put hay in here for the winter but uh, all these raised beds are really dealing we use a lot of this for winter we use a lot of this for herbs. And then again, these front two beds will be used for peppers and tomatoes. We planted 110 or so tomatoes in the, the, the garden. We got about another 10 in the greenhouse. We have a strawberry patch here, uh, but we want to plant about another 20 or 30 tomatoes in these raised beds um, and have a different growing season for them. Uh, uh, kind of produce more simply for um, as we prepare for fall and winter. Uh, with making salsa. So uh, we're excited. We're going to get finished with these today. Uh, we actually have an event we have to go to this afternoon, so we've got a lot to get done in a short amount of time. All right, step one is done. The wood is in, kind of broken up a little bit, moved around. So you can see us, we still got a really good 12 to 15 inches that we're going to be able to put on top of these. And uh, it's got some compost in it, and it's already so, sort of rotting, so it's actually good. So I'm going to go ahead and put this compost on it. And I will be ready for the second step. Look how great this compost pile looks. Look at this. I mean, it's just pure, perfect leaves and topsoil mixture. Uh, at any good time, you can move. Um, there's a worm right there. I mean, we just, you can move it. And there's like a hundred worms. So, uh, very pleased with this. We're going to go ahead and fill up the rest of the beds. But I just want to show you how good compost is. Compost is like one of the best things to um to, to bed anything in but especially hip balance out your ph uh and just a great 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 use of uh things that you typically wouldn't use uh we put um you know things from egg scraps banana peels uh tomato stalks just whatever's left old lettuce to uh to where we actually use our, our leaves our compost from um the chickens and all mixed in it just makes such a great bedding uh it helps you not waste so much stuff uh, our food scraps go to our pigs, so our goal is to get away from just waste uh, that we can't utilize. So I just want to show you that, how great it looks. All right, they're done. We're just going to do some cleaning, just kind of blow some of the dirt off the rocks so that way it won't settle in it. But again, we've got them uh, fully topped off. We've got wood in the bottom, uh, a little of the, the straw junk that, uh, that came with the wood, and some old leaves, and then true compost on top. <laughs> Look how black that soil is. It's just such good quality soil. So we're going to top it. Once we plant, we will actually come around it with some, uh, some probably some kind of um, true topsoil, a little finer grain so that water can go straight through it. Um, but it looks really good. Very pleased with uh, the composting that we've got. So, all right, so we finished putting the compost into the bed. So now we're going to go and plant some tomatoes. We had a few tomatoes left that didn't go in the garden and also the ones that didn't go in the greenhouse. So we're gonna go ahead and get them planted in the compost. Also, we have some pepper, so uh, we're gonna get started on that. Okay, okay, so we are single stem planting and we're taking suckers off the bottom and planting these really deep. Um, uh, something that we learned from our uh, friend, 
roots and refuge and basically the deeper that you get this the more root system it's able to make and um so that's why we're doing this now this one is a little unique i saw this one out in the greenhouse the other day look how cool that is they it's like fused together but we're gonna snip all this off so we can plant them deep and some people use snips i just use my fingernails because i have them but you don't ever want to injure into your stem This is our compost from our compost bin. We're gonna finish these up and I hopefully this have a good produce growing in here and uh, kind of joins all the rest of the uh, tomatoes. How many do you say we have in total, Mitt? I, I would probably think so because I think we got 120 something in the garden now. So we're thinking about. And then we have some back there, some up here, some in the greenhouse, some here, and then some seeds that I planted that are like this tall. <laughs> so either it's going to be a terrible flop and we spent way too much money on seed, and well, some of these were harvested from last year, or we're going to have so many tomatoes we're not going to know what to do with. Spaghetti sauce. Yes, we go through, you see all these crazy kids, they love anything dealing with tomato sauce. So sloppy joe, spaghetti, what else? Tacos. Tacos, tacos is, we have like taco Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So my kids love tomato sauce. So we go through a lot of tomato sauce. So Misty, I think this year wanted to do a lot with tomato sauce. 